Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a reading for Scorpio. This is for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for the week of January 25th through January 31st. We're just going to see what comes up for Scorpio. What do we have for Scorpio? Now keep in mind, the timing is still fluid, and not every reading is for you. So we're just going to see what comes up. What do we have for Scorpio? Overall energy, please. The Emperor. So the Emperor is a person that is in a position of authority. So you could be dealing with this person or this could be you. Now there's a lot, there's a big light shining through my window and I do see a rainbow on my wall and I haven't seen it as of until I started your reading. So the rainbow is a symbol of peace. The storm is over or the difficulty is over. That's what it typically means. But with the emperor, this is be battle ready, be ready to fight. You may need, maybe you are ready to fight. This is somebody that is battle ready, that is very experienced, that is ready to protect. So be ready to protect. Okay, you may need to protect yourself or you could be dealing with somebody that is ready to protect. Okay, because um, the emperor is a protector. This is somebody that is very masculine, that uses their head, that can show no weakness, that should show no weakness. Be prepared to show no weakness this week and be ready to battle or, or protect your family or protect your people or protect. It's, it's time to protect maybe and serve because that is what the emperor does. This is a fighter. This could also be the military taking control of a situation. So that could be happening. Um, anyhow, it's about order and organization and structure. So this week is going to be a week of... Um, probably taking control, okay? Um, needing to take control, needing to be in control and master your emotions. Um, use your experiences. You're probably going to have to use your experiences. Um, what else do we have for Scorpio? You know, it's interesting because I was going to say you, Leo. So I don't know if you're dealing with a Leo. You know, there may be a Leo that is helping you. I'm not sure. Um, what do we what do we have for Scorpio? Be prepared. Be prepared. <laughs> Be prepared for some sort of battle. We'll take those. Bouquet. Compliments from an admirer. Bird perched. Waiting for news, package, or letter. So there is going to be a, there's going to be news, a package, or a letter that is coming. You are going to be receiving some compliments from somebody. If you are, you know, a female and you're watching this and you're single, there is an emperor here. This is somebody that is very masculine, that is wanting to fight for you or protect you or something like that. Um... There is some sort of protection here or a need to protect. What do we have for Scorpio for the week ahead? Could be dealing with an Aries, doesn't have to be. Queen of Pentacles. Now the Queen of Pentacles in reverse is lack of uh, value, losing value. Could be losing something of value. Um, Queen of Pentacles in reverse. This is somebody that is very stubborn. Uh, unrealistic, unreasonable, unfaithful. There could be somebody here that is unfaithful. They're they're very very shallow, superficial. This is unreal. So there's something going on here. You have somebody that is, um, I feel like there is somebody that is against you. This person is not stable. They're not sincere. You've got somebody that is not sincere around you. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn may have something to do with a father as well. This, is, this could be somebody who is money hungry, that is money grabbing, that is... Uh, causing a problem. I do think that you have a problem here with this Queen of Pentacles in reverse. This is somebody that is very insincere. 
<laughs> I do think there's going to be a fight. I do think that there is going to be a fight with this person. Um, bad news. You are dealing with somebody that is absolutely bad news. I know that that shadow is shining. So when you get a shadow, all is not as it seems. There's somebody that is pretending. They're very superficial. They uh, are definitely bad news. And they're going to be causing some problems for you this week. Uh, this is somebody who doesn't have a lot to offer. It feels like, I don't know, even if it's a thief. You know, you could be dealing with somebody who is in only in a situation for money. Um... And they're extremely bad news. And they're going to be delivering some bad news this week. Um, whoever this person is, they're, they're very negative. This is a negative energy. Could be a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, or a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is a mean-spirited individual. You've got somebody here that is uh, very, very shallow. They're not who they say they are. They're unstable, and they're after money. They're after money. They're after something that they, that is not supposed to be theirs, which is interesting. You're going to have to take control. You're going to have to take control. This may, we may, I feel like we have a father here as well. So there may be a father here that needs to take control or a father that is going to take control. This is a father figure and that's a father figure. This is a bitch. So uh, there's some sort of bitch here that is not on your side. They're not on this other part. If it's your father, they're not on your father's side. Um, the king of wands. This is taking control, taking action protect you're gonna somebody needs to protect themselves from this person this person is money hungry we have a money hungry individual there's no love here okay this is all about financial gain so we have somebody here that has nothing good to say this is a debbie downer that puts everybody down all this person does is bitch and complain and i feel like you're gonna be up against a battle against this person and you're gonna have to um or somebody needs to take control. They need to take charge because this person is malicious. I feel like you have a malicious person around you. Uh, the King of Wands needs to take action, needs to take charge, needs to do something right now, right now about this individual. Um, you need to make it, somebody needs to make a decision to stop interacting with this person. It's a waste. It's a waste. This person is unfit. They're not qualified for the job. And I feel like you need to take, you need to be confident. You need to be strong. You're going to need to be strong this week. Yeah, lack of success. There's lack of success. There's, there's some sort of lazy person here that is extremely lazy that is causing problems for you. This is somebody that um, is not very positive. This person lacks goals, okay? They are refusing to explore new avenues. They're keeping somebody stuck. They're trying to stop somebody from success. There's too much resistance here. There is somebody that is resisting change. It's like they need to leave. They need to go down a new path, but they won't leave. And they keep on fighting and causing problems. So you're dealing with somebody that, you know, you're going to, somebody in this situation, whether it's you or your father or, or somebody needs to take action right now, they do. They need to take charge of this situation because whoever they're dealing with is only in it for financial gains because they can't pay for themselves or they can't take care of themselves or something like that. And I feel like you need to really stand up. Somebody needs to stand up, you know, and say, no, no, it's not yours or something like that. Anyhow, um, the world reversed is lack of success. There's a completion that needs to happen. Something needs to end. This journey is over. This chapter is over. But we have an individual that will not let go. I 
Very, very interesting. So there is a decision that is going to be made this week because of the Emperor and the King of Wands. Somebody is going to make a decision. They are going to make a decision because there's no success here. There's no success. And whoever they're dealing with, with needs an attitude adjustment. Somebody needs an attitude adjustment. And they're going to get one. They're going to get one because this is like passion. Somebody's going to find their confidence and their ability to fight for something, you know, to stand up for themselves. So you're going to be around when this happens. If it's not you, it could be you. Ah, this is definitely the end of a situation. So this is something's going to happen. This is the straw that breaks the camel's back. This is the death of a situation that has been stagnant. So we do have a stagnant situation here where there's been a lot of suffering. There's been a lot of pain. Uh, there's been some belittling as well. I feel like there's been betrayal and I feel like we have an individual that has been allowing it to happen and this week they're going to put a stop to it. I think they're going to put a stop to it. It's like, you know what? I'm done. I'm done. Somebody could be being let go because they don't have any value to add. It could happen very, very suddenly. This person is a negative Nelly. They're a negative, negative, <laughs> they're Debbie Downer, a negative Nelly. They have nothing good to say. All they, they're very pessimistic. Um, and I think the action is going to be taken. Somebody's going to be let go. Somebody's going to be let go from something because they're not adding any value to the situation. And there's something that is going to happen that is going to be the straw that breaks the camel's back. Whoever this person is, they're very, very jealous. They're possessive. They're stubborn. They waste money. They're lazy. This is a financial mess. So this is like dealing with an individual that really has nothing of value to add and really taking action this week. This is the end. This is the death of a situation, the Ten of Swords. This is goodbye. So somebody could be saying goodbye to something or they're just ending something that, you know, taking action right now, taking the position. You know what? I'm the boss, not you taking the leadership role. So I do believe that you are going to be taking or somebody that you're living with or dealing with is going to be taking the lead. They're going to take be taking back their power. Yeah. See, this person is an unhappy negative Nelly. Like I said, you are dealing with somebody that is draining. This person is draining. Um, they're dark, you know, they, this is a sad, sad situation. Somebody is in a, it's darkness. It's sad. There's lack of growth. There's no fertility, you know, and it's over. I think that we, we have action being taken this week to remove. Somebody is removing themselves from a situation where there's just no growth, none. It's because they get this vision or they get this, they get this, well, it's a vision. They get this vision or they get this desire or they get this, uh, need. It's a desire. It's a need to, to go in a different direction. It's like, you know what? I'm putting this bitch behind me or I'm putting this unstable situation behind me. I don't know why I want to keep saying bitch, but that's what I think it is. I think that you're dealing with a with a person that is extremely emotionally draining and financially draining as well. So there's there's a drain here. There's an energy sucker. There is. This is like an energy sucker that is sucking the the light out of out of a situation, you know? And I feel like this person is about to be put down, you know what I mean? Or they're about to be it's going to end. It's going to end with this negative. This negative energy is coming to an end because somebody is taking action to bring back. You know, they want happiness. They want light. They want fertility. And I feel like the only they get this desire. It's like, you know what? This is not a happy place. This is this is not the path to be going down. So there's going to be a change. There is going to be a change. Somebody could be it could be a, a sudden ending. It could, definitely could be a sudden sudden ending. Yeah, this is the death of a situation. It is the death of a situation, a person or idea. Somebody is extremely exhausted and fed up with this energy. It's there's no there's no happiness here. There's no growth here. There's a lot of bitching. There's a lot of darkness. It's emotionally draining. So somebody just can't take it anymore. It's like, you know what? So they're going to stand up for themselves. So be prepared for a battle with somebody that is draining. Okay? And I do feel like this is the end. It is the end of this situation because action is being taken this week. Um, I 
very, very frustrated. We have health issues here as well. We have somebody here that's not healthy. And it's because their energy is being sucked out. It's being drained. Somebody's energy is being drained by an individual who is money hungry, is lazy, that doesn't have anything to offer. And so this person's going to get so frustrated that I think that they, you know, it feels like they just can't do it anymore. They reach the point of collapse. This is a mental or physical collapse. The Ten of Swords. You know, I can't do this anymore. Yeah, a secret or something is going to be revealed. Something is going to, something that has been hidden is going to be revealed that changes everything. You know, I can't do this anymore. Again, draining. Um... Justice, a decision. So a decision is going to be made definitely with this too. There could be a legal decision that is made. The law could even get involved. We have somebody here that uh, isn't very enlightened. They aren't very awakened. They've been keeping secrets. They maybe have even been unfaithful. You know, that secret could come out and that could be the straw that breaks the camel's back. You know, they've, they've been hiding something and whatever they've been hiding is, is definitely going to come out. They, there could be another person here. There could have even been a third party. That could be what is coming out. And that is the straw that breaks the camel's back. Anyhow, there's been some sort of secret that has been hidden and it is going to be revealed. And it's going to cause a major completion of something that has been... Uh, delayed this this ending has been delayed and the only reason it's been delayed this person has been holding on because they can't support themselves and uh, or something like that they don't have the financial means but there's something that has been in the darkness that is about to be revealed a secret is definitely about to be revealed and it's gonna cause a lot of frustration it's gonna give somebody the energy and the desire and the get up and go to do something about it so there's gonna I think there's gonna be a battle I think there's gonna be a fight somebody's gonna stand up for themselves and they're gonna make a decision because they want balance in their life they want balance and harmony I do feel like there is going to be a final decision that is made this week. Some sort of secret is about to be revealed and it could cause, no, it's going to cause, it's going to cause a fight. Something has been in darkness. There's been darkness, but it's going to be shown. It is going to be shown. And it's going to cause a lot of frustrations. Be ready to, to battle. Be ready to battle. That's all I got to say. Good luck.